Hi, it's time for another math easy solution. Trying to discuss a pretty interesting video on does coffee and tea count towards water intake? And basically, this is a, this video is a follow-up video to my earlier video on daily water intake. And if you actually do need eight cups of water per day, so you make sure to watch in the video description below. Basically. Uh, uh, most of the information I'm going to cover in this video is taken from this paper um, from Morgan and Griffin, 2003, Caffeine in Ingestion and Fluid Balance Review, and it's from the British Dietetic Association or in Journal of Human Nutrition and Dietetics, uh, etc. You can also download that exact uh, PDF of the paper in this Dropbox link. It's also in the video description below. Basically, I'm going to tackle this issue in this uh, video because caffeine is recognized as having a diuretic effect which basically means you uh, or it increases urination and consumers are often advised to avoid beverages containing caffeine in situations where hydration may be compromised instead of sports or whatever or if you, or if you haven't drank water in a while and etc when you're dehydrated so you're basically uh, advise not to drink it when you need more water in, in you and basically but the, the thing I'm going to tackle right now is does regular caffeine intake etc coffee I mean ie coffee tea soft drinks really dehydrate you well the paper that uh, this one here um, this 2003 paper it involved a review of the available published literature concerning the effect of caffeine ingestion on water balance and it also was focused on formulating targeted evid evidence-based advice on caffeine, caffeinated beverage in the context of optimum hydration. So basically they just reviewed a bunch of papers that involved caffeine ingestion and then uh, basically the papers were taken from or all the literature taken from this uh, Medline database. It's, just, uh, it's, a, it's a free online database. You can click it here and it has all the articles uh, it has a bunch of articles and papers published, but then they, they looked at the ones in the medical and scientific literature for the period of 1966 and uh, 2002 on caffeine ingestion. So make sure you watch. Uh, if you read this one, they tell you how they got the papers. So basically they covered all the published literature on it, and the study showed or the review showed in ingesting caffeine in large doses at least 250 to 300 milligrams which is about two to three cups of coffee or five to eight cups of tea so basically you drink all this at one time this results in a short-term stimulation of urine output in individuals who have been deprived of caffeine for a period of days or weeks so basically regular users who haven't drank much coffee all of a sudden a stockpile on a lot of coffee or tea at once they have a short-term stimulation of urine up but also uh, they found that all the papers suggested a profound tolerance to the diuretic and other effects of caffeine develops however and the actions are much dimin diminished in individuals who regularly consume tea or coffee so basically if you drink a lot of tea or coffee regularly you're going to be almost immune to the diuretic effect and it's not going to do much. You're not going to pee more than you usually do if you weren't drinking it. And also doses of caffeine equivalent to the amount normally found in standard servings of tea, coffee, and carbonated soft drinks appear to have no diuretic effect right here. And also the review found that there was no evidence in published studies that Suggested consumption of caffeine containing beverages as part of a normal lifestyle leads to fluid loss and excess of the volume ingested or is associated with poor hydration status. So basically, if that, that was a myth. You do not need to uh, avoid caffeinated beverages because it's not going to affect your hydration. It's not going to make you, uh, it's not associated with poor hydration or it's not going to dehydrate you. And thus, the study concludes that there is no clear basis for reframing from or avoiding caffeine uh, caffeine containing drinks in situations where fluid balance might get compromised, et cetera, sports, and just uh, if you're dehydrated. So in other words, coffee and tea can be considered as part of your daily water intake. And also, you could also read more on this on this article right here from discovergoodnutrition.com. So you can click this link. It's also in the video description below. And also, you could download this exact um uh, yeah, this exact notes uh, in a PDF form in the drop in the yeah the Dropbox link in the video description below. Well, that's all for today. I just wanted to tackle this question. So basically, drinking caffeine or coffee and tea does not dehydrate you, and you can count it towards water. 
So that's all for today. If you learn from this and stay tuned for another math easy solution.